Oracle just launched the AI Vector Search Professional Exam, and we've got the MCQs you need. This video covers real-world exam-style questions from the AI Vector Search Professional Certification. For full-length practice tests, head to pass4success.com. Now let's jump into your first question. What is the purpose of the vector data type in Oracle 23 AI? A. Store encrypted text. B. Store high-dimensional embeddings. C. Store user session logs. The correct answer is B. Store high-dimensional embeddings. The vector data type is designed to store numeric vector embeddings used in AI-powered search. Here's one about how vector columns behave. Which of the following is true about vector columns in Oracle? A. They support full-text search. B. They allow primary key constraints. C. They must have fixed dimensions. The correct answer is C. They must have fixed dimensions. Vector columns must define the number of dimensions during creation and cannot be altered later. Now let's talk about where you should store your vectors. Where should embeddings be stored for optimal vector search performance? A. External file system. B. Inside the Oracle database. C. JSON column. The correct answer is B. Inside the Oracle database. Embeddings should be stored inside Oracle using the vector type to enable high performance indexing and querying. This one checks your understanding of vector insertion. What happens if you insert a vector with mismatched dimensions? A. It rounds off values. B. It throws an error. C. It truncates the vector. The correct answer is B. It throws an error. Oracle enforces strict dimensional matching when inserting vectors into vector columns. All right, switching gears to indexing. Which index type is best for fast approximate vector search? A. B tree B, HNSWC, hash index. The correct answer is B, HNSW. HNSW, or hierarchical navigable small world, is optimized for high speed approximate nearest neighbor searches. Let's continue with indexing. What must be created before using A and N queries on VECTOR columns? A. Materialized view, B. IVF, or HNSW index C. Virtual column. The correct answer is B. IVF, or HNSW index. An IVF, or HNSW index, is required to enable efficient approximate nearest neighbor searches. Now let's fine tune IVF. Which parameter affects recall in IVF indexing? A. Vector shape. B. Probe count C. Data type. The correct answer is B. Probe count. Increasing the probe count in IVF indexing can improve recall by searching more partitions. Here's a technical one about HNSW. What does HNSW use to navigate between vector layers? A. Hash chains. B. Skip lists. C. Proximity graph. The correct answer is C. Proximity graph. HNSW uses a layered proximity graph to perform efficient nearest neighbor navigation. Let's talk about similarity search. Which function measures similarity between two vectors? A. 2 number B. Vector distance. C. NVL. The correct answer is B. Vector distance. Vector distance calculates similarity or distance between two vectors in Oracle's AI vector framework. Accuracy matters. Here's a key one. Which type of search returns the most accurate results? A. Approximate search. B. Hash-based filtering. C. Exact search. The correct answer is C. Exact search. Exact search compares every vector in the dataset, providing the highest precision in similarity results. Let's stay on similarity search. What does a lower vector distance value indicate? A. Greater dissimilarity. B. Higher similarity. C. Invalid vector. The correct answer is B. Higher similarity. Lower distance scores in vector distance mean the vectors are more similar. Here's another precision detail. What must match for vector distance to compute properly? A. Memory limits. B. Vector dimensions. C. Column names. The correct answer is B. Vector dimensions. 
both vectors must have the same number of dimensions to be compared accurately. Now let's move into RAG. What does RAG stand for in AI search systems? A. Random access grouping. B. Retrieval augmented generation C. Record alignment gateway. The correct answer is B. Retrieval augmented generation. RAG combines document retrieval with generative AI to provide context-aware responses. Sequence matters. Try this. Which step happens first in RAG flow? A. Answer generation B. Document retrieval. C. SQL execution. The correct answer is B. Document retrieval. In RAG, documents are first retrieved using vector search and then passed to a language model. This one's about relevance. Why is vector search important in RAG? A. To compress documents. B. To retrieve relevant context. C. To sort search results. The correct answer is B. To retrieve relevant context. Vector search retrieves semantically similar documents that provide input to generative models. Let's wrap up the RAG section. Which Oracle feature supports vector search for RAG pipelines? A. DBMS output. B. Vector data type C. UTL file. The correct answer is B. Vector data type. The vector data type enables efficient search and retrieval, forming the backbone of RAG in Oracle. Switching to tools now. Which tool allows natural language querying over Oracle data? A. Data pump. B. Select AI C. SQL developer. The correct answer is B. Select AI. Select AI lets users query structured and vector enhanced data using plain English prompts. Here's a PL slash SQL based one. Which PL slash SQL package supports vector chaining logic? A. DBMS job B. DBMS vector chain C. DBMS network ACL admin. The correct answer is B. DBMS vector chain. DBMS vector chain enables chaining and advanced vector operations inside PL slash SQL routines. This one's for developers. How can developers integrate external LLMs with Oracle Vector Search? A. Use Python APIs. B. Export CSV C. FTP transfer. The correct answer is A. Use Python APIs. Oracle Vector Search results can be retrieved via Python and fed into external LLMs in AI workflows. Last one. Which Oracle product provides AI-driven SQL suggestions? A. SQLCL. B. Select AIC. RMN. The correct answer is B. Select AI. Select AI offers intelligent query capabilities, including natural language to SQL transformations. That's a wrap on our Oracle AI Vector Search MCQs. If you're aiming to pass the AI Vector Search professional exam, don't stop here. Visit pass4success.com for full-length practice tests and more expert resources. Good luck, and keep learning smart.